السلام عليكم ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمه الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام السلام just give me a couple of minutes uh, let me just settle down here uh, just bear with me for a second Okay, so are you guys able to see my video screen? Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. So what's happening is that, mashallah, the Isha Salah has gone a little bit late. So by the time I got home and get started, it's just a little bit tight on the time. Alhamdulillah, we are here. Uh, let me quickly take a look who is there. And if we have to wait any more, uh, bro. mashallah. Okay, a bunch of people are here, mashallah. So, inshallah, let's just start. <clears throat> so, Nahmuduhu wa nusalli ala Rasul al Karim. Aouz billahi min al Shaytan al Rajim. Bismillah ar Rahman al Rahim. Alhamdulillah. Uh, with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we got another opportunity to further in our education. And we are getting uh, close to what we are supposed to do in Jumla. Like so this is this uh, slide I have here is a uh, review so as you guys all know that we are dealing with Murakabitam and Murakabitam is a, a sentence with a complete meaning so it's known as a sentence and there are two kind of uh, Jumla what are those Jumla Ismiya and Jumla Filia Failure, very good. Now, Jumla failure starts with the fail, and since we have not started the fail yet, so we are dealing with Jumla Ismiya. Okay. Jumla Ismiya has how many parts? Two parts. Two parts, mashallah. What are the names? 
Mubtada wal khabar. Mubtada wal khabar. Very good job. Mubtada is a subject and khabar is a predicate. And the four aspects of noun we have studied so far are the status, capacity, gender, and number. And they are supposed to be, Mubtada is supposed to be Rafa, Khabar is Rafa, and then Mubtada is Marfa, and Khabar is Nakara. And then in gender and number, they follow each other, right? Now, since Mubtada is Marfa, we have to rely on the, the five categories of the capacity because they're all marafas, right? So we have made, alhamdulillah, is sentences with the alam, ism zamir ism ishara ism mausula we haven't done it yet, morabbil lam, we have done that. Does anybody have a question on this? Do we understand this part clearly? Yes. <clears throat> okay, then the second part which we have been studying is the Murakkab Inakis, correct? Murakkab Inakis is uh, basically an incomplete sentence. So they are known as fragments or phrases. And there are four kinds we are studying. Murakkab Tawsifi, Murakkab Shari, Murakkab Jari, and Murakkab Izafi. Last time, which Murakkab did we cover? Tawsifi. Tawsifi, very good job. So in today's lecture, we are going to talk about Murakkabe Murakkabe Izafi. Do you guys know anything about Murakkabe Izafi already? Does anybody know what Murakkab Izafi is? Oh, what's, <laughs> is everybody with me so far? Or how come I'm not getting any response? Mashallah, I have. Uh, what is the meaning of Izafi. Yeah. That's what I'm going to explain today. But I'm saying, does anybody have any knowledge of it right now? No. Okay. okay. So murakkab izafi is is a murakkab of two nouns. Let me give you an example. For example, if I say in English we have something like Zayd, and then we have this Zayd's book. Okay, what we have done here, we have related the book to Zayd. What we have done here, we have related the book to Zayd. When we write a noun to another noun, that kind of combination is known as murakkab izafi What is it known as? murakkab izafi murakkab izafi Okay. So murakkab izafi has also has two parts. So in English, we put this Zayd first and the book second. But the this is called Muzaf, okay, and this is called Muzaf Ilay. This one is Muzaf Ilay, and this one is Muzaf. So, as you can see in English and Arabic, the difference is Muzaf Ilay comes first in English and then the Muzaf, but in Arabic. The scheme is reversed. The first thing is we have Muzaf and then we, we have Muzaf Ilay. Everybody with me so far? Okay. Now, in the previous Murakkabat, like Murakkab Tawsifi, we said, you know, if they are Marifa, 
if like the, remember last time we said mosuf in murakkab e tawsif we had mosuf and we had so we said whatever the mosuf is the file is going to follow right and then the four categories was that the status capacity the gender and the number but in mudaf in mudaf ilay the rules are a little bit different what are the rules they are a little bit different so as soon as we understand these rules uh, then inshallah will be start be able to make a, a lot of sentences so are you with me so far so i need you to write these down okay rule number 1 is we are first going to work on the muzaf who are we going to work on muzaf muzaf is uh, it does cannot have cannot have alf muzaf cannot have alf that's the rule number 1 and these are the rules of muzaf so right now we're talking about the rules of muzaf okay rule number 1 al cannot uh, mudaf cannot have al number 2 no tanween who can tell me what tanween is tanween is to push to do to the man to kasra to fata to kasra and this mashallah okay so now we know the two important rules about mudaf that he cannot have al and it cannot have tanween okay so now we have to juggle our memory and find out in the past in the past sessions uh, hmm. can have tanween kanimat satus hmm ha ah. okay we have to understand in the past sessions where did we find tanween rafa so let's let's look at the those categories we looked at uh we had we know that in the uh, number category remember number category or number classification we said when a noun is wahid doesn't matter muzakkar or monness what happens on the last letter for example muslimun musliman and muslimin remember that part mm-hmm. yes so wahid we know that the tanween comes in the wahid category when the number is wahid similarly when we have jama muqassar doesn't matter muzakkar or monness we also have tanween hmm. agree <clears throat> uh, the example is um aklamun aklaman and afla min okay i'm trying to juggle your memory that you should know this already and i alhamdulillah we know that already but now i'm just reminding you that we are trying to dis- de- define the rules for mudaf the rule number 1 is al can it cannot have al and the tanween cannot come So when the tanween comes, we have to change it to what? We have to change it to single dhamma, single patha, or single kasra. Mm. Making sense? Now one more place where we had the tanween. Can somebody put some uh, in the refresh their memory and tell me which one is it? I can give you a hint. It has to do with number. it has to do with the number category and is supposed to be with the feminine like i give i almost give it away so you now you can tell me which one is it anybody any guesses no guesses rabani So how is the question again? The question is, where else we use tanween? Okay. And the classification of noun is we are dealing with number, 
there is one more category where we have tanween. It's not wahid, it's not musanna. It has to do with jama salim. Okay. So it is jama salim muannas. Because if we, if you guys remember, when you say muslima, muslimatun, is that the mean? Yeah. Okay. So this is the third category. One, two, three. So we know that that the muzaf muzaf cannot have tanween, and we know that in wahid we have tanween. In Jama Mukassar, we have Tanween, and in Jama Salim Monas, we have Tanween. Can we remember that? So, what are we left with now? We are left with Musanna. Who remembers Musanna? What is Musanna? Dual. Dual. So, in Musanna, the rule is if the noun or the Muzaf is Musanna, for example, if I say Muslimani, right? So then it will stay, it will become, we will drop the noon. It will become Muslima. Drop noon. Okay. Number five. Then anything left is Jama Salim Muzakkar. That's what left, right? So Juma Salim Muzakkar will be Musli Muna. When we drop the noon, it becomes Muslimo. Making sense? Okay, I need some sort of confirmation so that I can move on. Guys. So this, yeah, so this is the case of Mudaf. This is mudaf. We are dealing with the rules of mudaf. Okay. Okay. Because we are dealing with murakkab izafi. Murakkab izafi has two parts: mudaf and mudaf ilai. Right. And this murakkab is not like the old, the other ones where we had to say, okay, this is rafa, this is rafa, this is nas, this is uh, uh, marfa, this is nakara. It has a little bit complicated rules, but once we get these rules, inshallah, we can make a lot of mudaf. And Quran. Uh, mashallah has a lot of examples. The mudaf, uh, murakkab izafi has been used uh, a lot in uh, in the Quranic ayahs. Okay, so rule number one for mudaf is it cannot have al, it cannot have tanween. So when we say it cannot have tanween, then we have to understand where, which noun in which category or which classification has the tanween. So we know that wahid, jama mukassar, jama salim monas has tanween. Okay. So if we use any of these categories in making a muzaf, we cannot have it and mean, so we're going to change it to what? Single dhamma, single, single, single kasra. So what is left? Musanna left, right? In the number category, then we have musanna. If we have a musanna as muzaf, then the noon will be dropped and it will be muslima. And if it's jama salim muzakkar, the jama salim muzakkar is muslimuna, then the noon will drop and it will become muslimu. Making sense? Yeah. Okay. So that, uh, then that was the Muzaf uh, rules. Now let's look at Muzaf. Muzaf Ilay has simpler rules. Okay. So the rule is for Muzaf Ilay that it always, it is always in the Status of Jar. That's the only rule about Muzafile. So who can repeat that one, please? Can somebody repeat it for me? What is the rule for Muzafile? It is always in the form of a j and Jar. In the state I'll of Jar. So that means. It cannot have a, it cannot have can't have the status of 
Rafa or Nasab. Nasab. Good job. Okay. All right. So based on these rules, let's go back to our sentence. I said Blades book. Correct? So what is my Muzaf? Muzaf is book, right? Yeah. And Muzaf is name? Yeah. So in Arabic, yeah. first, Muzaf. So can, what is the Arabic of book? Kitab. 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 Now, by default, if we write Kitab, it will be Kitabun. Kitab. Right? But can the Muzav has a Tanween on it? No. no. So it will be Kitab. Uh, so. Making sense? Now we're just applying the rules. Yes. Okay. We said Mudafile. If I write sure. Mudafile in a regular, Zaitin. it will be Zaidun, right? Mm -hmm. But because Mudafile is supposed to be Halat it's going to be sure. Zaidin. 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 Making sense? Kitabu Zaidin. So this is how you make the Murakkab Izafi. This is the example. The book is Muzaf and Zaid is Muzaf Ilay. And then we know that the Muzaf will not have Tanween. So we put a single Dhamma and the Muzaf Ilay will always be in the state of Jah. So Kitabu Zaidin means Zaid's book. Now in English, sometimes you also say book. Zaid. Okay. In this sentence, what is the Muzaf? Book. And Zaid? A lot of distraction in the sound. Uh, uh, somebody, uh, who's, whoever uh, thinks that there is a distraction coming, they can mute the mic and when they want to answer the question, then they can turn it on. Okay? Any questions about this example? No. Okay. Everybody clear on that, right? Okay, let's take a look at another example. Okay. Okay, if I have to say Hamid's book. Who can translate this for me now? Kitabun Hamidi. Hamid. Is that Kitabun Hamidin? Hamid. Kitabu. Kitabu Hamidin. Let's do this simple. You know, when we are learning something new, the simple thing is first we identify the parts. So, what is book? Kitab. No, 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 no. Is it Mudaf or Mudaf? Mudaf. Very important part is to understand which one is Mudaf and which one is Mudaf Ilay. Okay. Is that good? Hamid is mudafilay and book is mudaf. Now, we know the Arabic of kitab is kitab. Right? Now, what will be the haraka? Single dhamma. Single dhamma. Why is there a single dhamma? Because it, it cannot have a tanween. Because it cannot have tanween. Is Sister Dusa, that was you? You were trying to answer the question? Yeah. Okay, so you're saying that it is single Dhamma because? We drop the noon and then we cannot have Tanween in here. Oh, we did not drop the noon yet. It's, a, it's Wahid only, right? Yeah. Okay, oh, so okay, it okay. will be dropped when we are dealing with Musanna or Jama Salim. So Jama what is the Mudaf then? Mudaf Ilai? Hami? Din. Hami. Why? Because Mudaf Ilai can only... State of Jar. Very good job. Now, I'm going to give you another one and let's see who can, who can give me this one. Omar's book. Who can translate that for me? Kitabu Omarin. Omarin. Kitabu Omarin? Omarin. 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 Okay, somebody saying Omarin, somebody saying Omaran. Uh, which one is right? Omarin because it's uh, Jar. Omarin is Jar, because it's Jar, so it should be Omarin, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you guys are half right. It is supposed to be Jar, but what is Umar? Name. Name of? Boy. Umar can Arabic cannot name. have a Kasra. Well, say that again. Is it Arab name Umar is? Umar is an Arab name. So oh. we remember which, is it flexible or partly flexible? It is, uh, it is a partly flexible. Partly flexible. So we have Umaru, Umara, Umara. Remember this one? Ghair, Munsari. Mm -hmm. You see how those knowledge we have gained in the past, it applies as we move forward those all those rules we learned have to be applied so this will become kitabu umara making sense brother kabir does it make sense yeah yeah i understand that's why i understand yeah it is flexible that's why it's uh, umaran it is partly flexible okay remember in partly flexible it only changes two states mm -hmm. and it doesn't have the name in the rafa state it has umaru and umara umara it cannot take kasra in the ghair munsarif state or ghair munsarif now they do not take a kasra yeah okay got it. right so this yeah. was the status of rafa this was nasab and this was ja making sense so if i give you another example let's say if i say um Usman, book. Who can tell me this? Kitabu. Osmana. Kitabu. Osmana. 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 Osmana, because Osman is also Ghair Munsari. Okay. But how will be, it means then Zaid and Hamid are not Arabic names? Okay, they are Alam. They are, they can have tanmi. There is a difference. Because we have to remember this with experience that any Arabic name which has the three middle, letters which has in the middle is a sukun. So the three letters with the sukun and it has the noon at the end is one of the Ghair Munsrib. Similarly, if I say Hamza, Hamza, did I write it? Hamza, right? So it will be mm -hmm. Hamza Ta in Nasr and Jar. Correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, see, let, me, let me give you a female example so that you understand what I'm talking about. Okay. Let's say, if I say Fatima's book. Fatima Tun. Book, right? Okay. So Muzaf is book, which will be Kitabu. Fatima Ta. Fatima. Fatima. Why is that? Because female books, a female name is not partially flexible. Is it partly flexible? Ghair Munsarif. That's why we have this. Okay. Okay. Let's try something else then. We can mashallah get that. So let's say Allah's book. It is not flexible. It is. Um, okay. So let's let's look at the parts of the. Uh, the what is book? Kitab. Mudaf. Mudaf. Kitab Allah is. Mudafile. Mudafile. Kitab Allah. Okay. Kitab Allah. So uh, Sister Nusra said. Kitab Allah. Kitab Allah. Kitab Allah. Is right. Kitab Allah is right. Yes. Now, one thing to note that in the Muzaf, we did not put Al. Can I say Al Kitabullahi? No. No. So remember no. that. And can I say Kitabun 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 no. Lahi? No Tanawin. No Tanawin. But on the Muzaf, can I have Al? Yes. Yes, because on yes. Mufile, there is no condition that you cannot have Al. Okay, so it is recommended that on Muzafile you use Al as much as possible. 
but you cannot use al on alam you cannot say kitabu az zaidi hmm. you understand because zaid already hmm. is uh, marifa when do we add alif al lam to a noun when we want to make it marifa, marifa. so kitabu al nakar right if i want to say allah's messenger what do we say first of all we we rasulullah rasulullah muza rasulullah messenger okay stay with me just uh, because we need to identify these muzaf is lai so muzaf is messenger why because messenger we are relating to allah correct so allah is muzaf lai messenger is muzaf so what is the arabic of messenger rasul rasul and allah <coughs> Want to be Allah or Allahi? Allahi. Allahi. So Rasulullahi. So Mashallah, you can see the once you know the rules, you can make a lot of uh, muzaf and muzafilay. Okay. <clears throat> Similarly, we have. I'm just gonna give. I'm gonna ask you in English, and you give me the Arabic for that. I say Allah's help. Nasrullah. 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 Mashallah. Allah's punishment. Azabullah. Azabullah. Mashallah. You got it. See. Now, Alhamdulillah, you're making yourself without even writing it down. So, let's go to another example, and then I'm going to give you this example. Like, you know what moment is, right? I'm going to write it in English. Uh, moment's heart. Okay, what is hard here? Hala, mudaf. Hard is mudaf. Mudaf. We need to identify the components. So mudaf is hard, and what is momin? Mudaf ilai. Mudaf ilai. Okay. So what is the Arabic for hard? Kal. Okay, kal, right? So should I have kal bun? No, no. Kalbu, kalbu, right? Now, momin, momini, right? Can I have, can I have al here? Yes. Yes, because nobody is stopping you from that. So, kalbul, momini. This is how you will write it. Kalbul, momini. Kalbul, the momini. Okay. Making sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Similarly, if I say moments, mirage. What is mirage? Muda. Mirage is muda. And moment is muda filai. Muda filai. Okay. So, what is the Arabic of mirage? We are writing is mirage. So, mirage is. Mirage. 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 Mirageul. Momini. Okay. When we say mirage in English, what should come in our mind? What happened on the mirage? He went to heaven. He Seven. went to heaven to meet with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, so the key word we are talking about is the meeting. So miraj is like a meeting. When I say mirajul moment, that means meeting of the moment. And the, there is a small hadith. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, "As salatu mirajul moment." As salatu mirajul moment. That salah is a meeting of the moment. Okay, so if I say Deen, you know what Deen is, right? Yeah. Deen's pillars. Okay, or pillars of Deen. Pillars of Deen, or Deen. So what is the mudaf here? Pillars. Pillars. Mudaf is pillars, and Deen is mudafilay. 
the Arabic of pillars is Imad. Imad. Imaduddin. Imaduddin. Dini. Imaduddin. Now you notice that on the dal, I added the shadda. Mm -hmm. So this is Kamari or Shamsi? Shamsiya. Shamsiya. So I did not say Imadul Dini. I said Imadud Dini. Correct? Imadud Dini. Now then there is another small hadith from Rasulullah Sallallahu He said, As-salatu Imadud Dini. That As-salah is a pillar of deen. Everybody with me so far? Yeah. Are you feeling excited that mashallah you are getting it? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> okay, so this was uh, some easy examples. Let's take a look at a little bit tricky one. Okay. Uh, Abhi, can I ask you a question? Yes, brother. This uh, salatu imaduddin. So are these two mudaf here and then one mudafile? Is that the way it is? Mudaf and mudafile is imaduddin. Is salatu also uh, mudaf? No, no, no. When we add salat to it, actually, what the what I did here, brother Javed, I if I'm this is brother Javed, right? Yes. Okay, brother Javed, what I did, I took a murakkab izafi, which is mirajul mirajul mu'minin, and here I said imaduddin, right? So this right. is mudaf mudafilay. This is mudaf mudafilay, and this is murakkab izafi. Okay. But when I added the as salah then it become a sentence. It's become okay. a sentence. It's become a sentence. Okay, so it has yeah. nothing to do with the mudaf mudafil anymore. No, no. So it, the mudaf mudafil is this two words here, right here. Okay? These are two. Okay. Right. But the reason I made these examples is so that I wanted to bring the hadith in the picture for the uh, clarification of how these murakab izafis are used. Okay. Got it. Got it. Thank you. And inshallah, further sentences we're going to make, we are going to talk about a lot of examples. So the next example I want to say, I want to say Zayd, Zayd's two books. Okay, Zayd's two books. So first of all, what is Mudaf? Two books. Two books. Two books. Mudaf is two books and Zayd is Mudaf. Mudaf is light. Zayd. Okay, so how do you say two books? Um, Kitaban. Kitabani. Zay. Then. Din. Okay. We said Kitabani Zay Din. A sentence is correct. But what is this? This is what? Musanna. Mm -hmm. So what was the rule for Musanna? Noon should be. Drop the noon. So it will become Kitaba Zaidin. Kitaba Zaidin. So that was the reason I brought this example for you. Okay. Making sense? Okay. If I give you another sentence, if I say Zaid books, how many books are we dealing with here? Two. More than two. More than two. So this is what? Jama? Okay, what is the Jama of books? Kutub. 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 And is, what is Kutub? Uh, what is the, the this is Jama Mukassar or Jama Salih? Mukassar. Jama Mukassar. Mukassar. Right? If I have to write Jama Mukassar, in default form will be Kutubun. Correct? Kutubun. Making sense? And here will be Zaidun. But our rules are this will be can we have Tanween in the Muzaf? No. Can, can we have Tanween? <laughs> no. no. So it will be Kutubu Zay. Making sense? Any questions on this, please? Why we said Kutubu Zaidin? 
Can somebody guide me on here? Jal, Zaid will be Jal. Okay, Zaidin is easy. We know that Zaid is, will always be in the state of Jal. Correct? Now look at this. I want to take you back to this page when I was telling you that Jama Mukassar can have Tanween. Right? Yeah. Jama Mukassar is one of the classification of noun which can have Tanween. Aklamun, Aklaman, Aklamin. So I said, there is a tanween, muzaf. If it's a muzaf, is a jamma mukassar. It cannot have a tanween, so it becomes a single jamma. Mm -hmm. That is why I use this book, this example here. Because Tukubun is a jamma mukassar. It's supposed to have tanween in the default form, but when I make a mudaf of it, I'm only going to say kutubu. And mudafile will always be in the state of jar. So kutubu zaidin. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. Okay. If I say something like this, Pakistan's <laughs> Pakistan Zindabad, right? That's right. Okay. Pakistan's Pakistan's Muslim. Agar main ek Muslim one, if I'm talking about Wahid, what will be the Arabic of this? Muslim. 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 Pakistan. Pakistani. Pakistani. Muslimu, Muslimul Pakistani. Make sense? That's the Wahid. If I say Musanna, what will be the example? Muslimani. Muslimani Pakistani. Al Pakistani. Pakistani. Right? What is the rule? That if this is a Musanna, the rule has to be dropped. So it will be. Muslim, Muslim, Pakistan. Making sense? The noon will talk. What about Jama? Jama will be Muslimuna, Muslimunal, Pakistani. So what will happen to the noon? It will drop, no. it will become Muslimul Pakistani. Because Jama Salim Muzakkar mm. and Musanna mm. and Noon gets dropped mm. when we are making it Muzafile. Remember that rule? Mm. Or should I show it to you? Mm. Words, when it's Musanna or Jama Salim Muzakkar, mm. drops mm. and we. No with Muslima and Muslimo. Making sense? Look at this. Muslima, Muslimo. Okay. What about female? Let's say we have to make another example. Let's talk about Let's talk about uh, another word. I would. I want to say. Muslim son. What will be the answer of that? What is mudaf here? Son. Mudaf ilay. Muslim. So what will be the Arabic? Waladu Muslim. Waladu. Al Muslim Al Muslim Al Muslimi, right? Because when there is Al, you cannot have a Tanween. It has to be Waladul Muslimi. What is the English for it? Muslim son. If I say Muslims, what would be the Arabic of this? Waladani. Waladani. 
Muslim. Wala daanil muslimi? Okay. Is it musanna? Yeah. So what will happen to the noon? Drop. So it's going to be? Wal. 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 No, there's no alif. After wal, there's no alif. There is alif, right? Oh, sorry. After wal. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Top two. Wal. Wal. Making sense? And if I say Muslim sons, what is the Arabic of that? Aulad. Auladu. Muslimi. Auladul Muslimi. If I have to say Muslims. Borders. But not Muslimi. What will be the harakon banat? Banatu. Why? Jama Mukassar. Jama Mukassar? No, that's not right. It's not Jama Mukassar. Anybody else from the brothers want to take a, take a shot? Okay, what is Banat? Can somebody uh, tell me what Banat is? Jama Salim. Jama Salim. And Jama Salim of what? Male or female? Female. female. So what did we say about? Muslimatun. The, the word should be? Muslimatun. There is Tanmeen. So it should be Banat, right? If, if this Banat is a Salim or Mukhesa? This Jama Salim Monas. Jama it's Salim. not Salim. It is Jama Salim. Yeah, it is not Salim because we add up. Not Salim. It's, a, it's a not Pint. It's not complete. It's a Pint coming there. Okay. It's Mukhesa. Okay. So let's, let's take a look at it. Okay. Muslima. That is the Muslim, right? What is the uh, second one? Muslima Tan and Muslima Tun. Muslima. Okay. So what is this? Jama Salim or Jama Muzakka? This is Jama Salim. Jama Salim. So Bint Bintani. Bintani. Bana. Banat. Is Jama Salim. Jama Salim Monas. Okay. And again, Jama Salim Monas has this. And the Binatan. Actually, Binatin and Binatan. We can check that we have done this in the past. But anyhow, the the answer is is supposed to be banatu. The reason being, it is it cannot have tanmi. Any questions on this? Okay. Who can tell me? Let's look at the rules again. Murakkabi Zafi has how many parts? Two. Oh, two parts. Okay, uh, Sister Afi, uh, let me ask other people for a few few seconds. Um, so two parts. What are the names? Muzaf, Muzaf, and Muzaf. Okay. In English. Uh, what is the uh, location of Muzaf and Muzafile? Right. First will be Muzaf and then it will be Muzafile. Okay. In English, it will be Muzaf. Muzafile first and then Muzaf. Muzafile first and Muzaf later. But in Arabic, it's supposed to be? Opposite. Muzaf first and Muzafile second. Can somebody tell me 
each one of you take a uh, take a turn and tell me one rule at a time what is the rule for muzaf muzaf should not have al very good so let me ask somebody else for the rule number 2 so what is the second rule guys no tanween no tanween no tan very good job okay so when we say no tanween then we have to think about how many uh, classifications the noun has tanween can somebody give me the first one wahid wahid very good job what is the second one jama mukassar jama mukassar very good job what is the third one jama salim jama salim monnas very good job jama salim monnas okay then we are left with musanna and jama salim muzakkar what happens to jama musanna and jama salim muzakkar who can tell me that drop the noon and yeah. drop the noon okay very good very good very good very good okay and then the examples we did alhamdulillah everybody understand those examples okay and did we cover all the uh, the the scenarios we talked about in the rules yes did you notice that i covered all the scenarios we talked about in the rule okay so let me switch back to uh, something here and then take it from there Okay, just give me a second. I have to get my USB drive. Okay. Okay, can you guys see my screen? Yes. Okay. So, murakkab izafi in English is known as possessive phrase. Why possessive? Because it's showing the possession. It's showing the possession or the the we are showing the relationship of two nouns to one another, okay? Um For example, here, Narullahi. Narullahi means Allah's fire or fire of Allah, and I'm I'm giving you some examples yeah, yeah. from the Quran. Okay. Now, where is Narullahi? What is Muzaf here? You should be able to pick it up right away. Nar. Nar. And Allahi. Nar. Mudafile. 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 Now, another way I can tell you. Let's say you're having trouble identifying it. So look at the noun which has the kasra. Which noun has the kasra? Allahi. Allahi. So we know that muzaffile is always going to be in the state of jar. Yeah. So right away you can say Allah is muzaffile. So narun or naru is the muzaff. Muzaff. And the second thing you will notice the muzaff will not have tanwin. You see, it says narullahi, and then rasulullahi, nasrullahi. Allah's help. Hadisul Junudi, the story of the armies. Okay, now here Al Junudi, what is Al Junud? Junud is 
a jama mukassar of uh, army. Uh, Hizbu shaitan. What is Hizbu shaitan? His mean the group and shaitani the group of satans. Sahibul hoot. Sahibul hooti. Who is Sahibul hooti? Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam. Yawmul fasli. The day of decision. Now, Alhamdulillah, I think most of you will uh, recognize these uh, sentences from the Quran. Do we do we see these in most verses sometimes? Like Yomil Fasli means the day of decision. That means the day of Qiyamah. So these are coming from the Quran and these are all Mudaf, Mudafile. This is a Murakkabe Izafi. So next time when you read the Quran and when you get a sentence like this, then this is this means you are dealing with Muzaf, Muzafile. Okay, so in English, the possession can be donated by a apostrophe. Remember, I said it can be Zayd's book or the book of Zayd, and by the use of the word of. So, we are basically talking about the same thing again. The first noun is known as Muzaf, which is the possessed, and the second noun is known as Muzafile, which is the possessor. And then we know that it cannot have a Tanween. We talked about those rules, and it cannot have. Al. Okay, so let's take a look at some more examples. But these are proper sentences. But the underlying word is is the murakkab izafi. So can you uh, recognize? Inna hu lakaulu rasulin karim. What is the meaning of lakaulu lakaulu rasulin? The word of rasul. The word of messenger. Same. Same. Right? But here we have karimun also. That means. Karimun mean honored. So we say this Quran is certainly the word of an honored messenger. You see that? Mm -hmm. So the word of an honored messenger, the, the murakkab -e zafi is only this part. This is additional information. Let's look at this one. So here, jaza'u sayyatin is the muzaf muzafilay. Can you tell me which one is Muzafilay? Yes. Sayyatin. 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 Right away, look for the, the yes. Kasra because you know that Muzafilay will have the Kasra. And, and the requital of an evil is an evil similar to it. Meaning, even to a weight of a small particle. Zarra is uh, the small particle. particle. And uh, Miskala is equivalent in weight. Oh, okay. Let's look at Wa min sharri hasidin is a hasad. Min sharri hasidin is a hasad. Now, when we talk about Tanween, are we only talking about the Dhamma? Yeah. No. No. Right? No. Kasra and Fatha can also be part of the Tanween, right? So the examples we did mostly were Rafa. So we, we dealt with the Dhamma most of the time. Now look at these ones. Wali utimma ne'mati alaykum. Ne'mati, there is a zameer um, here. You don't see that. Ne'mati is my favor. Okay, because zameer is, we haven't studied zameer yet. But here you only see one underlined word because zameer ne'mati, my favor, is what Muzaf Muzaf day. Right? Nema is Muzaf and Nemati Aditi. The Ya here is Muzaf ilay. Muzaf ilay. Ma agna anhu, ma luhu, wa ma kasab. So ma luhu is also Muzaf Muzaf ilay. Wallahu waliyuhuma wa alallahi fal yatawakkalil muminun. So these are all the examples we read from Quran, but we don't know that these are Muzaf Muzaf ilay. But our job should be from now on that inshallah when we read next time, we go ahead and try to understand. There are a lot of examples here. Uh, the material is given in the Google Drive. Please read it when you have more time because we're running out of time. So let me go ahead and show you a few more things. We may not have time to do some uh, sentences, but inshallah we'll do that next time. So look at here. Nasrullahil Nasrullahi Karibun. What does this mean? Allah's help is near. Right? So what is the muzaf, muzafile here? Can somebody guide me? Allahi. 
Allah is what? Muzaf. Muzaf. And Nasru? Muzaf. 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 So this whole thing here is Murakkab Izafi, correct? Yeah. And what are we saying? Karibun, right? Karibun means near. If we yeah. do we see a is in here? No. So is this yeah. a sentence? Yes. If, yeah. And is it starting with a noun? Yes. So is it a Jumla Ismiya or Jumla Failia? Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya. Very good job. So what is Mubtada? Nasru. Nasrullahi. Nasru cannot be Mubtada. Because Nasru will not make any sense. Hmm. So we have to say Nasrullahi Kareeb. Then Khabar is Kareeb and Nasrullahi? Okay. When a noun comes with somebody who is Marifa, Allah is Marifa, then the first noun is also Marifa by default. Okay. So is Mubtada supposed to be Marifa? Yes. And what about Khabar? Is Khabar Nakara? Yes. So you can see Nasrullahi is Muqtada in Khabar. Mm. And in the last session I said the reason we are learning these phrases and fragments because we need to see where whether the, the uh, fragment can become the Muqtada or it can be the, the Khabar. Mm. And Murakkab e Tawzifi was one where it could become a Muqtada or the Khabar. It could come in both places. Same thing is true for Murakkab e Izafi. It can come as Mubtada, it can also come as Khabar. So look at the next sentence. Shakar tu Namatallahi. What is Namatallahi? Blessing of time. Nama is Muzaf. Allahi Muzaf ilay. Namatallahi, Allah's blessings. You see in the sentence where you see the apostrophe that tells you we are showing a possessiveness or we are relating one noun to the other. And that is the quality of Murakkab Izafi. Right? So I offer thanks for Allah's blessing. Shakartu is a verb, and there is a zamir in it which we haven't covered. But the shakartu, this word means I offer thanks for Allah's blessing. Al mu'minu mushfikun min azabillah. Azabillah is what? So al mu'minu mushfikun min azabillah. So the believer is afraid of Allah's punishment. So from the English, you can you can see that Allah's punishment. This phrase is murakkab e zafi. Now you see examples of complete sentences. Making sense? Okay. Let's see. So here again. You can read through this. There's a lot of information here. <coughs> and I believe I have summarized the whole thing, the one you read here. I've already summarized that in that one page where I was defining all the rules for mudaf and mudafile. Okay, so let's quickly look at this. Now, baytur rajuli. Baytur rajuli. So what happened here? We are saying that uh, we are using the al on the mudafile. Are we allowed to use Al on Mudafile? Yes. Okay, yes. so Baitu Rajuli, the man's house. Yes. Kitabu Talibin or Kitabu Talibi. So, what is this? A student's book. Or Kitabu Talibin, basically. Because this is uh, Talibin, we can put uh, two Tanween. We, have, uh, we can uh, put the Tanween on the Mudafile. There is no rule for that. Okay. Okay. What is this? Hadithur Rasuli Hakkun. Hadithur Rasuli Hakkun. The messenger's tradition is true. Ukulul Jannataini Laziz. What is Jannataini? Two gardens. Two gardens. Two gardens. Very good. So the fruit of the two gardens is delicious. Okay. Karatu Kasasan Nabiyina. I read the stories of the prophets. And I'm sure, mashallah, by now you should be able to understand some of this. Akhlaqu, akhlaqul mu'minati samiyatun. The believing women's characters are exalted. Okay. Zahabtu ila bayti Aisha ta. Why Aisha ta here? No. Ghair Munsarif. This is the name of the Arabic woman and it's a Ghair Munsarif. So in the jar, it only can accept the fatha and not kasra. 
remember these rules write it down somewhere and inshallah you will uh, because if if i have to put kasra here right then it will be aishati but there is no such thing as aishati get it okay okay so here some of these are the um, these are sound masculine plural and the uh, musanna and what did we say about musanna and uh, muzakkar uh, jama salim muzakkar then the no gets drop so look at this the water of the wells the uh, water of the well is sweet so ma ul biri azabun azbun azbun is sweet manarat al masajidi manarat al masjidi tawilatani what is that means manaratani manaratani the two minarets mm. if i had to write two minarets in arabic what would be the arabic for that manaratani Manara but Tani. what happened here why did the noon get dropped because it's mudaf because it's mudaf in mudaf the noon gets dropped for musanna so manarat al masjidi because this is mudaf muzafilai masjidi is what muzafilai tawilatani tawil is something long or tall right so tawilatani why tawilatani because it's sifat and two yes the is sifat the the thing we are trying to talk about is if, if the manaratani was dual then the next noun has to be dual dual right so we are talking about the minarets of the masjid and we knew there were two minarets so we cannot say tawilun we have to say tawilatani because we are dealing yes. with musanna now here muslimu pakistana muttahiduna the muslims of pakistan are united <laughs> this is not true <laughs> that's a joke okay anyway we're not going to come may inshallah allah subhanahu wa taala unite us okay okay so here uh, by the way i hope it's uh, giving you the the idea that what i'm talking about and here are some examples uh, some here uh, some of these exercises it's already 10:40 um i mean i have time i can do some of these but if you guys want to go i won't stop you from going so tell me what we do you want to stay for another 5 minutes or what yes i think so okay other people are quiet so i need to hear from them i think we are okay to stay 5 more minutes Okay. Rabani you okay? Shadid? Sister Noshin? Inshallah. Okay. Yes, yes, sure, inshallah. Okay. So here this ex exercise number 1 they're saying make the nouns in column alif. So alif is right here. There is a noun given. The first term is mudaf. and those in column b the second term mudaf ilai so they have mudaf kalama talib so they not putting the uh, the the harakas because they want us to do so the kalama should have kalamu and talib should have talibin making sense yeah okay so this is the exercise so the step number 1 or the uh, the question number 1 is miftah al bab so what the answer will be miftahul babi miftahul babi very good job uh, sajida um, so let's look at number 2 who who wants to volunteer for number 2 sister nawshin i'll pick you for that i know you can do this um khatilun al khalifata okay so first of all you said khalifata right khalifata yeah. now what is let's analyze it and i i know that you're trying but let's analyze it what is khalifa is it uh, singular or is it plural khalifa uh, singular. singular singular yeah right in singular how do we know the um, the harak the status of the um, and we have to take the it last. in the huh the, the last, last letter last yeah. letter right um, and, The, this is mudafilay correct are you agree with me yeah. that this is yeah. mudafilay so uh, what should be the haraka on the last letter um ta, tin tin yeah. tin yes. but is there al there al yes so can it be tin or ti 
it, it has to be one kasra or two kasra. Um, when you have al, the tanmeen drops. Okay. Yes. So, so al khalifati, making Fati. sense? Yes. So Fati. you made the muzafilay, alhamdulillah. So al khalifati is muzafilay. Kati luna. Is kati luna, what kind of noun is this? This is how we have to uh, analyze in our head so that we can make uh, the muzaf muzafilay. Is kati luna, is it some sort of jama? Yes. Kati luna is jama. Is it what, what kind of jama is this? Jama salim. Jama salim. Jama salim, muzakkar or muzakkar? Okay, let me work with Sister Noshin for a second. Sister Noshin, is, uh, is this uh, yeah. jama salim muzakkar? Uh, muzakkar, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, what was the rule about muzafilai? That if you have a noun, if muzafilai is jama salim muzakkar, what will happen to the noon? Noon will. Drop the noon. Oh, drop the noun, right? Noon? The noon will be dropped. Will be what will be left behind? Lam wow. Katilu. Katilul Khalifati. Katilu. Katilul Khalifati. So that is, that is why I'm trying to do these exercises so that you understand why we are applying this rule. Okay. Now, I want Rabbani. If Rabbani, you're willing to do one? Yes. Okay, so first of all, Saadi Kuna is Mudaf or Mudaf? Mudaf. Mudaf. And Alwad? It's Mudaf. Okay, so what will be the the uh, the proper uh, statuses? Can mm. you? Saadi Kul Wadi. Saadi Kul Wadi. MashaAllah. Is everybody uh, understand why he said that? Can you explain, uh, Brother um, Rabani, why you say Sadiku and not Sadikuna? Yeah, because this is Mudaf and this is um, Jama Salim. Jama Salim Muzakkar. Muzakkar, yeah. Jama Salim Muzakkar. We have to drop the noon. You drop the noon, mashallah. Did everybody get that? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay, so let's do number 18. Number 18 is Salah Al Asr. So, what is this? Uh, uh, let, let me pick somebody so that uh, everybody get a chance to do this. Okay, Madiha. Yes. Sister Madiha, are you able to do this one? Salah Asr. Say that, say, that, say that with again and confidence. Salah Al Asri. Salah Al Asri, mashallah. That's good. Why you said Al Asri? Uh, because it is uh, mudafilay. And it's mudafilay. And mudafilay can have only what kind of status? Um, jar. Jar. Very good. And jar will, when you, there is a lam, al, al in the beginning, then it can, the last letter can only have a single. Kasra. Very good job. Very good job, guys. Okay. I need number this one. And brother Louis. Yes. Can you take Can you take a shot at this one? The bintani. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, binta bakri. Binta bakri. Okay. Uh, can you explain to us why you said binta and not bintani? Uh, binta is mudaf, and because it's mutanna, mm -hmm. we uh, drop the noon. Jazakallah khair. And you say bakri. Bakri is uh, is malam, uh, very good, and it's and usually with with the jar kasra. Jar. So jar is the the sign of jar. Uh, okay. So that's very good. Let's do number thirty, brother Kabir, number thirty. Brother Kabir, are you there? Yeah, Manarata Manaratal Masajid. Masajid. Manaratal Masjidi. Masjidi. Right? Because there was a single masjid, right? Yeah. Okay. Manaratal. Who else is there? Who else wants to try? What, uh, I don't have the name for this brother uh, or person, Arabic language class. Is this brother Javed? Brother Javed, are you there? 
Okay, Brother Javed is probably not answering. Okay, Sister Nusrat, I'm going to ask you one question. Number, sure. number this one. Yad Yad Okay. Yad, because we would drop the noon because it's with uh, Afilai. Yes. Yad uh, Tilf, tilf, uh, how you pronounce? Uh, this is a yeah. child, right? Yadat tifli. Tifli. Yadat tifli. Yeah. So, what is the meaning of yadat tifli? Uh, yad is the child's hands. Child's hand, yeah. And there are two, right? So we know. Yeah. That if those are matanna, then we drop because it's yeah, very good. Here. Allah, very good job. Looks like uh, I believe you guys got the the concept. And with practice, uh, inshallah, you will become better. So, so anybody wants to say any quick feedback, or should we call it a day, inshallah? Any feedback? So, quick feedback. So, everybody understand the concept and the rules. Did you write it down, by the way? Yes. So, the bakri. Why? Why is not bakri? Oh, write this one? Yeah. You're right, it's Bakrin. I can't see with my without my glasses. So it is Bakrin. You're right. Uh, Rabani, you're right. Mm. Bakrin. Yes. Okay. It is a is a name and the kasra is supposed to be two kasras because Tanween can come on uh Mudafila. Jazakallah, that's right. So everybody, okay. it was not Bakri, it was Bakrin. Or maybe I heard it wrong, but it is Bakrin. Okay, so please take the time to do the exercises, inshallah, and this yeah. will uh, Im increase the knowledge of the concept in your in your mind, inshallah. Jazakallah khair, salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Jazakallah, salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum. Salamu alaikum.